Hi, I'm Christian Long, and I'm a Vice President with Canon Design and International Architecture and Engineering Practice. Uh, what I do with Canon is I help our educational team uh, in the United States, where I'm based, as well as around the world, uh, really try to design and uh, construct um, the most uh, incredible learning environments possible. And uh, in much of the work we do uh, is focused literally on the architecture and the design and construction of spaces uh, called schools and universities. Uh, but I'm part of a new team that just recently launched and helped to co-lead the Third Teacher Plus, which is a design team that doesn't necessarily uh, focus only on the building, but focuses on the entire ecology of learning. Um, and that's everything from what do we mean by the mobile device in our hands to what does it mean to even imagine being an educator in the future? Um, how do we create, uh, build, tinker, uh, do research, uh, collaborate, um, et cetera, uh, in, in, in any iteration, whether that's a traditional school or not? So sort of have two hats, one very traditional, uh, looking at what do we mean by building a building and called school, and then on the other hand, what do we mean by just reimagining the entire future of, of uh, teaching and learning. So that's what I do on a, on a daily basis. Um, I uh, am absolutely thrilled uh, to be on my way to New Zealand. It'll be my first visit uh, to your country, and uh, it uh, definitely falls in that category of kind of a life dream come true. So um, there's a part of me that just as a little kid inside is just incredibly excited to be uh, coming there and spending uh, time uh, learning about how teachers and, and students um, try to imagine uh, their own lives uh, in real time. And I know a lot of that has to do with the future of learning, but a lot of that is just what do we mean by the good work that people do every day? So I'm excited to do that in, in uh, uh, a new part of the world for me, um, but a part of the world that uh, we'll learn much, much more about in, in the coming coming months. Uh, so anyway, very excited about that. And and, uh, and then, of course, the, the, the excuse for coming to be part of uh, learning at school is just incredibly exciting. I mean, this is a conference that has a reputation that goes far beyond uh, your country, and uh, it's just it's very humbling to, to be part of it. So, um, so thank you for <laughs> this opportunity. As far as, uh, as, far as the session, um, what my intent is for, uh, for it as, as a presenter and what I hope folks will take, uh, take away is I think the central question is um, we're, we're inside this thing called the 21st century and uh, we're, we're all uh, trying to imagine um, ways to take advantage of, of new tools and uh, to deal with a much more complex world um, and to empower uh, young people and, and also the educators that care deeply for them. So the question really is um, not so much um, what are the tools of the 21st century, but, but what's the mindset of, of uh, this new world that we're entering? And, and in particular, how do you design a mindset and a methodology and a way of solving problems in uh, this moment in time, um, regardless of where you are and what tools you may have around you or what resources you have access to. It's just how do you handle uh, complexity in this incredible uh, world that we're in now and in the years to come. So with that said, um, I'm going to uh, talk about a pedagogy that is, uh, I think, particularly um, agile in this new world and and it will come out of the design sector um, and not necessarily to to turn young people and, and educators into architects or designers if that makes sense but but really to have um, an agile imagination and, and an ability to team up and, and collaborate and 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 take problems that, that lovingly refer to as very messy problems uh, how do you take them and kind of break them apart um, so that we can uh, not just help young people go on to college or to get a job, uh, which are uh, really important and, and, and noble uh, efforts. But how do we help them make an impact on the world? And not one day, but right now in, uh, in the center of the world that they, uh, they live in right now. So, so uh, we'll be talking about uh, how design and, and, uh, and learning can kind of come together and, and help, uh, help empower young people and, and the, those that support them. Um, so with that said, I won't uh, go into too much more detail, but essentially, if you can imagine that question of not designing a building or designing um, a tool or designing uh, something you would specifically do to prepare for a test, but uh, how do you design a mindset and a point of view and a methodology uh, for engaging um, an ever-changing future and uh, really messy, wonderful problems that uh, our young people are going to be charged with handling in their future. So in any event, look forward to joining you all, and uh, thank you once again for the invitation.